Hey, it's me again, Chef Ian Brutal Foods, and today I'm here to finish something that I started not long ago. My last video was a Bass Pro Shop extravaganza, but unbeknownst to you guys, there were actually a few foods that I picked up that did not make the video. I don't want those foods to go to waste, so I'm gonna try them now. Four different things here, three snacks and one meal. Freeze-dried broccoli, freeze-dried cookie dough, freeze-dried potato chips, and uh, the big meal of the day is the Santa Fe style beef skillet. I think it's only fair that we uh, start with this, actually. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> I've got the food. I've got some cutlery. Is it cutlery if you eat out of it? I've got some cutlery. Got some scoopy uh, bowl shaped objects. And I've got my, wow. This is the Santa Fe style beef skillet, a zesty Southwestern flavored combination of black beans, sweat potatoes, and peppers with beef and rice. It's close. Speaking of sweat, you know, I'll address that uh, one of the biggest complaints about my last video, a lot of freeze dried food frequenters claimed that this would be better uh, if I actually went out, hiked, worked up an appetite, that kind of a thing. But I mean, did you not watch the video? I was outside that entire time. Okay, well, it's literally shaking my table right now, so it should be ready. Oh, smells really good, actually. Oh, man. Oh, can you see that? Oh, doesn't that look tasty? Got your beans, got your rice. I feel like this one could be pretty good. It's probably gonna be better than the uh, freeze-dried biscuits and gravy was. The smell is also just great. You can tell that it's got some type of, some type of, uh, it's got some type of scent, smelly. All right, you can see it's, uh, Nice and bubbly and corny in there. Do love corn. All right. Oh, shit, I'm supposed to stir thoroughly. Hold on, hold on. Well, it's pretty liquidy. Honestly, it's pretty, uh, pretty loose in there. I know you're not supposed to eat the oxygen packet, but is it okay to lick it? It's got, it's got some nice, flavor on it too. Did that look cool? All right, let's break into this beef skillet, why don't we? Oh, looks pretty corn. Who likes corn? Do you like corn? I like corn. <laughs> it still smells pretty, pretty good. Uh, it smells very, like, pretty good. I also feel like I smell pretty good. Definitely some citrus in there. Is that lemon? Crystallized lime, citric acid, lime, lime oil, and lime. lime juice. I can definitely taste the lime. lime. Honestly, it's extremely lime. It's very, very lime. It's mostly lime. lime. The beef's a little dry. The beef is a little, uh, dry. Beef doesn't really taste like beef. Beef tastes like dry. I'm gonna try it again, but I'm, I'm not really a fan. In fact, I would maybe say that it's flavorless except for the lime. I'm having trouble tasting any other part despite how um, nice and full the dish looks. I mean, visually, this is definitely one of the more appealing of the freeze-dried meals that I've tried. I and mean, it's definitely edible. It could do with maybe a, a sprinkle, sprinkle of cheese. 
But despite how good it smelled at the beginning, I gotta say, I was expecting some more flavor. I'm sitting here trying to envision myself exhausted from a day of walking around. And um, yeah, I could see myself being pretty eager for something like this if there was no other you know, decent food nearby. Some people like to walk in the mountains to enjoy the nature. I would like to walk to Wendy's for a son of Baconator, please. <laughs> It's not bad. It's just so lime. It needs some cheese, but I guess you can't really carry cheese with you on a hike, can you? Is there some type of freeze-dried cheese you could bring? Maybe like a Parmesan? Actually, let's try and spruce it up with one of our other uh, freeze-dried meals today. Simple Kitchen, it's all good, freeze-dried buttered broccoli. I like a broccoli. I'm a big fan of the brock. Uh, it's one of the best vegetables, if not the best. Sorry, corn. I love to eat it. I love to eat it. And you know, when I get real hungry, I like to eat it. 100% real veggies, gluten-free. Got like a, a sexy chipmunk on the back. If that's uh, what you want, sniffing around your broccolis. Mm. Mm. Well, that smells very broccoli, actually. Oh, it looks very broccoli. Look at this nice little uh, crown here. Mm. That looks like a full ass piece of broccoli. I kind of expected it to look flat and sad, but uh, you'd eat that broccoli, wouldn't you? Hmm. <laughs> well, it doesn't taste like much. Oh, this is a sad broccoli. Look at that little broccoli. Collect all the squirrels. It's got a weird taste to it. It kind of tastes like broccoli, but kind of not. Okay, the idea though that I had was why don't we spice up the uh, uh, Southwestern Santa Fe skillet with some uh, buttered broth. Oh, that's better. Yeah. I like the broccolis in the Santa Fe skillet more than on their own. I actually thought that this could be a, a fun snack to get just, just for funs. But, oh, it's kind of weird. It kind of tastes stinky. Kind of tastes like a stinky corn. I mean, broccoli. But honestly, it's not too shabby. This is not a bad meal. I feel like if I was uh, taking a break from a, an exhausting task out in the wilderness, this would be a pretty nice reprieve. I just don't like lime. I like lemon lime. I like lime Skittles. I like lime wire, but I think that's it. I think that's all my love for, for lime. I'm gonna give the uh, Santa uh, Santa's style beef skillet uh, like a six out of 10. All right, well, on to our next little snack here. We're gonna try Uncle Buck's kettle potato chips, cream cheese and chai flavor. No real information on the identity of Uncle Buck or like what his whole deal is. Let's see what he's got uh, in the way of chips though. These are best by November of this year, so not as shelf stable as the freeze dried foods. I also can't really say that I'm a fan of cream cheese and chive chips. I've never had a cream cheese and chive chip. Uh, I like cheese. <laughs> Well, they smell of chip. That's pretty good. Definitely kind of reads to me as a thin kettle potato chip. I'm used to them being slight bit crunchier. It kind of tastes like sour cream and onion. In fact, it tastes a lot like sour cream and onion to the point where it's like... Just get sour cream and onion. Is that fun? Mm. These are very flavored. Maybe a little over flavored. 
They just feel so soft for kettle chips. When I think of kettle chips, I think of Tim's chips. Those give a really big crunch. They're very thick, painful to eat chip. I like it a lot. This is like, it's kind of like a thicker Lay's, which is not bad. I don't mean to diss Uncle Buck. I don't know, seven, seven out of 10. They're so salty and so uh, flavorful that I think I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save some for later. Last item for today is the Simple Kitchen It's All Good freeze-dried cookie dough medley. We all love a good uh, unbaked cookie dough to eat from, uh, from time to time. I don't really know if you're supposed to eat raw cookie dough, but it's, uh, it's something people do. Might be illegal in places, but uh, so is a lot of badass shit. I feel like I've had a nice balanced meal. I've had a Southwestern Santa Fe Santa's skillet. I've had uh, some freeze-dried buttered broccoli. And I finished that off with some Uncle Buck's, you know, little snacky chips after a big meal. Now I want a dessert. I'm, I'm ready to relax. I'm in the wilderness. I'm next to a tree. There's like a bear Ooh. hanging out over here. River, dirt, bugs. Mosquitoes, bugs, bears. Ooh. What else is outside? There's gotta be more than those th three things outside. You know, the more they put do not eat on this packaging, the more delicious it seems. Okay, so these look like little cookie bits, I guess. It almost looks like a cereal. It's a very diverse group of characters here. You've got your white pieces. You've got your brown pieces. You've got your black pieces. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's not overcomplicate this. Let's just give it a try. Well, that's, ah. Ah. It's not quite as good as I wanted it to be, but eventually it became good. I'm, I'm trying the dark one here. This is almost like a brownie cookie with chocolate chips in it. Okay, growing, growing on me. me. I like that one. It tastes like, like a memory, you know? It's like, it's almost not even there. Ooh, the sugar cookie is nice and soft. Oh my God, so sweet. This would be good with a, like a cup of milk. But once again, I guess you can't, you can't camp with milk. It's not a thing. You know, it's a pretty nice sweet treat. You know, honestly, my stomach does not feel great. This was a much smaller offering than my usual food videos, I feel like, but ugh. I don't think it was the chips. I, I could have been Santa's rice or maybe even these cookie things, but I have had my fill, so I'm going to stop eating now. Hey guys, regular Ian here. Normally I like to do really high concept, high effort brand deal spots, but I just didn't have time this time around. So please enjoy this lower effort, yet still heartfelt and mildly entertaining ad read for today's video sponsor, HelloFresh. Kickstart a fresh fall routine with HelloFresh. HelloFresh handles all the meal planning and shopping to deliver everything you need to cook up a tasty meal right at home. They do the hard part and you get to take the credit. I love to take credit for things. In fact, I wish I could take credit for repairing my horribly disfigured kitchen, but nobody gets that credit because it is still completely unusable. See all this delicious HelloFresh footage? It's nothing but a memory to me now. Uh, nothing but a delicious memory of the time when I was able to prepare my HelloFresh meals. I miss it a lot. A new season calls for new meals, and HelloFresh has a fresh fall lineup of delicious dinners and more to choose from. Take your pick from 40 weekly recipes that suit your lifestyle, from veggie to family-friendly to fit and wholesome. You know what else is wholesome? Having a working kitchen. One doesn't truly appreciate the comforts of an operational stove and a functional floor until it's no longer around. 
I'd cry about it some more, but I've become physically incapable of tears. I've eaten so much fast food lately that my tear ducts have literally swollen shut. Ever wish you could spend less time planning, shopping, and cooking for the family and more time with them? From easy, time-saving breakfasts and family dinners to kid-approved lunches and snacks, HelloFresh has what it takes to keep everyone, including you, happy and satisfied. But what if you hate your family and you actually want to spend less time with them? In that case, I would just lock them outside uh, while I enjoyed my warm, delicious Hello Fresh inside of my warm, delicious, functional kitchen. But that's not my call. I don't have a kitchen, I don't have a family, and I don't have the ability to experience the emotion happy. But hey, if you're ready to take the plunge and give HelloFresh a try, all you gotta do is go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50 brutal moose at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com, code 50 brutal moose at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Hopefully my kitchen will be fixed sometime next month and I will be able to resume my delicious HelloFresh journey. Uh, but until then, I guess I'm the one locked out in the cold. Bye.